Hello there, it's me again and my awesome cat and today we're gonna learn how uh, analog signal reacts going through the gates logic gates, uh, so it's like analog signal processing how to process with gates and other elements and how uh, a specific analog signal will be outputted in a specific gate so that, uh, let's start with what's its analog signal overall. Uh, you might remember in Little Planet 1 there was uh, an a option in switches like uh, speed. And uh, speed made, uh, you know, uh, when you make a switch a uh, uh, switch halfway, for example, it will send half speed and you your wheel spins half so in input player 2 this uh, this option has been fully integrated uh, the output is, is sent it anyway of on the signal or an analog signal uh, and are both sent by same wire but uh, the response is a table from the inputs of the elements called uh, in input action for example so sequencer get speed and positional and uh, it simply makes uh, element react differently for to analog signal well it's better than uh, putting this in the outputs like in little planet 1 since you know uh, in uh, little planet 2 you, uh, different elements have different uh, reaction even two kinds of reactions uh, to the analog signal so this is also analog signal uh, the range of analog signal is from minus 1 through 0 to 1 min minus 100% through 0% to 100% right and uh, as you may notice, there's a neg negative value, but uh, this negative value is not really negative. Uh, it is the set the direction of the signal. But it looks like negative, and also you get uh, on the combiners and splitters, so let's call it negative. Also, that such directional uh, negative positive are uh, returned by analog sticks and other components, directional components, uh, inputs and uh, up is positive, down is negative, left is negative, right is positive value so you should get the idea so uh, now let's see what I constructed here so this is a simple uh, circuit that we're gonna use for testing I put five setable timers, all connected to an analog signal, except the last one that is shoulder, combined to combiner, of course. And you know, setable. How to make them? You got on some uh, logic tricks video. How to make them? Two of them are uh, I connected to negative uh, combiners and negative output of combiner, so it return negative value. We got so all the tires are on connected to the gate, and then it sent out through splitter. Splitter make a positive value, you know, uh, up uh, sends uh, the analog signal f depending if it's positive or negative. But it's all what those outputs sends positive signal, you know. So one is connected here to positive for red sequence connect of course in positional since sequencer is also good analog signal indicator and the same way the blue one connected here also through not uh, not gate so it will invert not going from here to here but from here to here like we are you know we'll see. Anyway, that's not important. Important is how it's gonna react to the gates. So first gate we're gonna analyze is OR gate. Was the basic gates of the gates. 
Orgate uh, realize the uh, mathematical function of maximum, so it will send the most powerful analog signal that is inputted to him. Let's see, as you can see, we can set one timer, it increases. Now, as you can see, it won't react to the second signal that we sent to him, but if it becomes more powerful, it will affect the general output of the gate. So it will make maximum value. So we're gonna make another timer, he's gonna get more powerful and start reacting. Now, how this is gonna react to negative uh, value? We're gonna see why it's not negative. So, uh, in general, uh, in, if, if it was real negative, it should not react anything to negative until we uh, not send any positive signal, right? But in here, when it's powerful, negative is more powerful, more more bigger, it sends negative value anyway. This is not how it's supposed to be if it's real negative. but. Because also when oh, everything is zero, wait, uh, and you're gonna send uh, some negative value. In general, uh, you know, uh, in, uh, when it's negative, this should be bigger, right? But uh, it reacts to the bigger negative, so it's more directional than negative positive. Okay, so this is the. Then this is the OR gate. Now let's make an OR gate. But NOR gate works like uh, OR gate, but with uh, uh, like it was uh, not gate connected to it. So it sends the inverted signal, as you can see. So. It's simply like it's like it's connected to uh, not gate. So let's now put the end gate. Let's still try out the end gate. Uh, let's make them five thousand pulls. Okay. So now end gate, end gate if uh, or gate. Send maximum function. The end gate realize the minimum function. It will send most uh, lowest signal that is inputted to him. So as you can see, it's not reacting until all the timers will have some value. And as you can see, it sends uh, this signal. And what is interesting, this signal is actually negative, but it's still sending the positive value, so it's uh, ab absolute uh, uh, value. So, let's make some bigger values here. It's so like you can see it's sending this until the lowest, when it crosses to the lowest here, it will send this one. So it's like minimum function. It will send the lowest uh, uh, input at uh, an analog signal. So nothing here with negative values. Let's try them alone. Oh, that's interesting. No, it's not setting anything. Oh, exactly. As you can see, it, it still needs uh, values. So negative sending is here is broken practically. Okay. So this is end gate minimum value. Now let's try no an an end gate. So it will send you know same as or gate. Uh, it will be sending the. It's like it it was connected to not gate. Uh, here you go, as you can see. So nothing special here. Now, uh, let's try XOR gate, but XOR gate works practically like 
uh, or did, but there is some chunky reaction to it sometimes. So let's lower this everything to zero. Yeah, it will send the most uh, powerful signal, same as OR gate. Yeah, it, it's re even reacting the same for negative value. So nothing special here, practically. And same should be with uh, inverted mode. Yeah. So this is uh, the gates. Now another uh, uh, interesting element that reacts to analog signal is uh, directional combiner. So let's plug it. I hope. Oh shit. Yeah, replacing not working perfectly. Oh, here you go. So what the combiner makes? It will make uh, the signal. Uh, it will realize the substra uh, subtraction value, uh, subtraction operation on the analog signal. So it will. Uh, subtract positive to negative. Well, no, I mean, uh, will subtract uh, positive uh, signal uh, to with negative. So, in the most easiest way, it will simply send uh, the difference between those values. So it's, when it's uh, similar, they returning the uh, z zero signal. If they they're the same, as you can see. So it's difference between the signal. Sends the difference. Quite interesting thing to use. And let's see what uh, when we invert it. Yeah, it will send in different direction. So nothing special here. Yeah, so this is positive, and uh, I can show you not gate. Let's try. I, it's interesting. Uh, not gate. Uh, it will send simply send inverted signal. So when we got uh, full, it will send zero. When we got zero, it will send full. Let's see what, how this reacts to negative signal. But it should be nothing special too. Oh, I. Yeah, it's still sending in positive. So as uh, you can see, uh, negative values are quite involved in little pan too. World. So this is it, practically. You know, inverted is making this a node, so it's nothing special to you. So as you can see, you see in action the processing of the analog signal with the gates. I hope you enjoy it. By the way, I got hundred subscribers already. So the hundred number hundred subscriber is Dr. Smuggle, so congratulations for him. <laughs> so this is it for now. I'm gonna make some more videos, tutorials if you like. So see you soon.